That's it's a white so woman spicy. right there. That's a white woman. I, okay, so the reviews for the film. They're in. You heard me say walk. Do you want to go for a walk? Good morning. We're going to breakfast with my ex-boyfriend. Let's go. We're trying out this new thing where we're trying to be friends. Is it gonna work? We don't know. But I'll see you at breakfast. What are we having? I don't know what I'm craving. I ate so much last night. I got a little festive and I ordered buffalo wings and fries and I ate them all. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, I was supposed to go out, but I didn't. I stayed in. It was delicious, but I feel heavy. You know, when you eat a lot late at night, you feel heavy the next morning. Anyways, there's always room for breakfast. Breakfast was delicious. This woman has been following me for miles. Hello. Get away. Where are you going? How was breakfast? What'd you eat? I had a sandwich. For Actually, I took a picture. I'll pop it up here. He had a sandwich. He had a turkey sandwich. Turkey sandwich with the spiciest mustard ever. He goes, this mustard is so spicy. That's a white so woman spicy. right there. That's a white woman. I can't handle it. No, you can't handle it. Yeah, she thinks salt and pepper are spicy as well. Ooh, yeah. I had a little scramble with a latte. But it's very late to be out on a weekend for breakfast, so all the creatures were out. I'm usually like, I like to be out and up early, but like I said, last night was a little much for me. Uh, but we're going to a place called Den Mother Wellness in Venice right now. My friend's having a pop-up, a jewelry pop-up. That's actually to say a jewelry, which is linked in my bio. She gives you guys 15% off. I had the collab with her last year. I think we keep going oh, straight. Oh, that's who. Yes, so we're Early gonna go, girl. we're gonna go. He's so jealous and he wants everything. He's like, oh, I love that pearl necklace, I want one. Yeah, and I'm gonna get Copycat. one. Copycat. And you can get it to me for 15% off. Oh no, add 15% <laughs> so I get that. <laughs> Thank you. How pretty these all are. And she's copying me, what are you getting? No, I'm not. Yes, you are, you're getting. Well, I'm I wanted getting... to get that. You know, Jeez. green's my color. That's so pretty. Who's green is my color. Green? Who's the one that has green eyes? Me. I'm wearing green. Mine's sometimes green. You're wearing gray. You're colorblind. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Allie's fixing my, yeah, I'm vlogging. <laughs> fixing my necklace. Not fixing, extending. Look how cute I support your vlogs. Are. What? I support your vlogs. Thank you. You're actually linked in the, in the bio because everybody always asks about the jewelry. I love it. So I'm home now. Storm is taunting Monty with this sweet potato bone thing I got a while ago. He's been chewing on it for weeks in front of her. You're nasty, huh? Yeah. He's taunting you, Monty. He's taunting you. I gotta take you guys for a W. Allie gave me the cutest little gift baggie. I got this drink, Sunwink Detox Ginger. A little card, what else is in here? Natural Medicinal CBD. Another one of these, ooh, that one sounds good. Lemon Up Rose. Some Palo Santo, cute. And a candle from Rose West Studio. Wonder what this is, what the scent this is. This is so lovely. Sandalwood, suede, cedarwood, velvet, musk, and yasmin. It smells so good, I love a wood wick. I love the crackle. I'm home, I just showered. Skin is clean, but yeah. Breakfast was nice. It wasn't weird or anything, but I feel like I'm just getting the hang of hanging out with an ex, you know? I'm just like doing stuff. It's different because our relationship was very like go, go, go. Yes, we spent like every day together, but I feel like we didn't really do a lot of like little things that couples do because we were just like in our own little world. Like we never went to the farmer's market together. We never went grocery shopping together. You know, we didn't do like those like normal things because we were in, you know, a relationship in the public eye and it was just different, I guess. I don't know. It shouldn't have been, but it was. And so it's kind of nice to like, you know, slowly build a friendship. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. Can't get any worse, could it? Life can always be worse for sure. But I'm gonna take the pups for a little walk right now because I'm gonna see The Little Mermaid. I'll see you guys at the theater. I'm going with Manny and Gabriel. They're gonna get food. I need to be good. I'm not gonna have any pizza. I'm not gonna have anything. I, mean, I will have a popcorn and a drink and maybe some candy, but no pizza. <laughs> I might as well just have Yeah, we're going to see The Little Mermaid, but I hate the theater that we're going to. We're going to City Walk, City Center. It's in Studio City. It's where Universal is. And it's just like the most annoying place to go. The parking is insane. It's always so busy. Everyone and their mother 
is out on the weekends. And you guys know I do not go out on the weekends. I like to be at home. I do my things that I need to do on the weekends during the week, early when nobody's out because people annoy me, aggravate me and irritate me. You know what I mean? It's just too much in LA. It's crazy. It's not like a little town. Everybody's out. Everybody's acting a fool. Everybody's acting wild. People don't know how to drive. Everything's busy and full. I'd rather go and get breakfast in the morning at 8 a.m. during the week when nobody's there. Hello. I know that's a privilege, but hello. Anyways, I'm going. I'm going and we're gonna have fun. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. You heard me say walk. Do you wanna go for a walk? Also, Monty bit Stormzy here yesterday. Yeah, she bit it because he takes this in front of her, right? Look, look, look how possessive he is when I actually bought that for her. And she went to nibble on it and he tried to bite her, so she bit him back. Get it, Monty. Get it, Monty. You're so nasty. And you're so sweet. Don't let men push you around. It is a woman's world. <laughs> okay, them. You guys wanna see why I hate it here? Do you wanna see? This is why it's like I'm at Disneyland and it is extremely corny. There's just so much going on. It's too much. But people actually like coming here. It's actually kind of crazy, actually. This is mentally disturbed. This is crazy. I have made it to the hail hole. I got my popcorn. The woman who- The is, woman in the wing. She doesn't, she doesn't make plans for anything, anything other than this hellhole theater. Hmm. The thing is, honestly, it's very hard to find it. It's not that bad. The theater's not that bad. Well, no, it's cute. It's quiet in here. Well, the, the gag is, is that the theater online is like, all these seats are taken. All of these seats are taken. And I oh, it's taken yeah. four days ago. I have my pizza and stuff. Also, you have your full coverage of merchandise on. Oh, I do. Which is now available on FanJo. Uh -huh. It'll be linked down below. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can use continue. <laughs> I don't think you can use any codes. <laughs> Gabriel's around here. He already saw me walking in. I was flustered because they were playing the stanky leg outside. You guys saw that mess out there. Oh, my heart. Padam, padam. Mm -hmm. Oh, suddenly she's putting up on me. No, that sounds not for me. <laughs> I'm not even a Disney girl. I'm not a Little Mermaid girl. I wasn't allowed to watch any of these movies as a kid, so I have no idea what's going on. Did you watch the first one? Nope. I wasn't allowed to. I went to Christian school, Diva. I've been told many times that I look just like Prince Eric. Well, they lied to you many times as well. Oh, <laughs> all right. You know what? I've been vlogging for far too long. Go unsubscribe from the check. <laughs> okay, so the reviews for the film. They're in. They're in. Oh, okay. Lovely. It was really good. Oh, but I will say, I think we could have done without the Prince Eric song. Well, you know I think it was a little rough around the edges. Right? I don't remember that. He's not a singer she, in there. She's original. not a vocalist. No, no, she's not a no, 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 no. There's no yeah. song. Body, oh, body, yeah, body, 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 body. You got a booty on him. I was living. It's I was all that sea brine. Just got back to my car. 30 minutes later. You want to know why? Came down to my car. Realized my debit card wasn't in my car with the receipt from the parking. So that means the parking attendant must have kept my card. So I had to walk my ass up to, I'm in the basement right now at Universal City, City. Walk up to the parking dude. He's like, oh, sorry you left without your card. No, you forgot to give me my card with the receipt. So I guess it's both of our fault because I should have checked anyways if we're being honest. And he's like, oh, we brought it back to security at the sheriff's station inside Universal City Walk. So I had to walk another 10 minutes all the way down to Universal City Walk, to the sheriff's station, got it. And then now I'm back in my car. I, however, did get a Cinnabon because I'm like, you know what? I deserve this and I haven't had Cinnabon in like 10 years. I got the minis, I didn't get a full bus. I thought that was a little good, but like their con artist, this, I mean, look how gorgeous, stunning. Seven doll hairs. I asked them to warm it up and I thought, why not indulge in a Cinnabon, in a mini Cinnabon while I give you my review of the movie? Not that it matters. Okay, one bite and then the review. <gasps> stunning. I mean, I mean, look at that. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, it's so sweet. It's just the perfect amount. All right, out of 10, 
I'm gonna give it a 10. And I am a very tough critic. I grew up in musical theater. I grew up acting. I love film. I love studying film. I love music. I love musicals. I have never seen The Little Mermaid though. Like I wasn't allowed to watch the types of cartoons when I was a kid growing up. Like I grew up very religious. And then I went to private school, essentially my whole life until high school. So by that time it like wasn't cool, not that that matters, to watch those cartoons an animated movie. So I just like completely stayed away from anything Disney other than Hocus Pocus and like Disney Channel that I watched in hiding. But I really, really loved it. I love the storyline. The colors were so beautiful. The cinematography, what the, the, the special effects with how they filmed underwater was amazing. Eric's adopted mother, I'm not sure. They said that he washed up 21 years ago when he was a baby. So Anyway, the queen, I, I don't know her name, but she's an incredible actress. She's phenomenal. Like I am obsessed with all of her dialogue and the storyline and everything. I thought it was great. Like I, because of her and King Triton, I feel like there should be a second movie, A Little Mermaid 2. I don't know if there was one or if it would even make sense, but I just feel like with where the story left off, I feel like they could because they were setting off on an adventure and it could follow that adventure and it could be a little more dark and mysterious and, whatnot. I think that'd be really cool. I loved Sebastian. Sebastian is the crab of the best friend Ariel and I love that accent. Don't know exactly where he's from but I'd have to probably say he's somewhere in the Dutch West Indies. But he's fabulous. Who's the fish? Flounder was good. He was a little too fishy for me. I feel like he could have been a little bit more animated. Prince Eric was great. Like I said before, I, I will stand firm that he's not a singer, and I don't think he is in the in the animated version. And I think it could have done without that song. I feel like he was really trying to sing, and it was it was it was it was it was strenuous. But he's a very handsome, great actor. I wish he had more dialogue. I feel like he didn't really have a lot. All in all, it was really great. I loved it. Highly recommend. Definitely go see it. Hallie, so talented, so beautiful. They did such a great job, and I don't understand that discourse of Ariel is it. Black, she's white with red hair. Bitch, we're talking about mermaids. Hello, ya idiot. No, it was so great. It was just really beautifully done. And for somebody who doesn't really watch like anything like that, like I'm not, I don't really watch like a lot of those movies. I watch more like older movies normally. I really enjoyed it and I would watch it again. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. But yeah, I'm gonna finish these and I'm gonna drive home and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it's the next day I'm out to breakfast at the Beachwood Cafe with Maria, the queen. my mother. She's <laughs> opening some gifts, what'd you get? Oh, I got Anything some good? beautiful girl. Yes, French, Lancome, my favorite. Oh, she got some perfume. La vie, la vie this is like a late Mother's Day moment. And then and she got her favorite lip glosses. Oh my God, Laura Lee. By Laura Lee. She loves the lip glosses from Laura Lee. Gorgeous. <laughs> We're just having breakfast. We have a little coffee right here. Mom has her coffee. We're just gonna catch up. I'm so basic when it comes to breakfast. I just get scrambled eggs and turkey bacon. And mom got, what is this, ricotta, ricotta avocado, avocado, cream, uh, and avocado grass. toast. And so grass. Good and microgreens, which are edible. We're at the gym. <laughs> so we're gonna stretch. <laughs> boom, boom. I have very tired everything. That's false, it's loose. Had a lovely walk with my mom, and then as you can see, I went to the gym, but I'm having a little snack after the gym. I'm a huge breakfast person, I love eggs, so I thought I would show you guys how I make my, like, the creamiest easy eggs. I haven't seen anybody else do this on the internet, not saying that I created it, but I've been doing it for a long time, and I'm like, I need to share it with you guys. So it's super easy. All you're gonna need is your eggs. You're gonna need cottage cheese. You're gonna need some chives, chopped up chives, or like you can use dill, you can use basil, just something green if you'd like. If not, you can make it plain. And really that's it. It's nothing too crazy. I do a little avocado on top 
and it's a vibe, so let me show you. So eggs are frying on low, medium heat. This is the always pan. I don't like this pan. I got it, it was $170. It's not worth the hype. I got it like a year or two years ago. I don't like it because all the oil pools on the sides. I'm using ghee butter, seasoned with chili flakes, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. And then I'm just using a little fat-free cottage cheese. You can use whichever kind of cottage cheese. This is just what they had at the local market. I didn't feel like going to the grocery store. So we're gonna fry these just in the pan like this. And then we're gonna just scramble them super easily. You don't need to like separate the scramble. Gorgeous. I'm gonna let that cook for like a minute and then you're gonna take about a tablespoon. You can do two. Right in there. Sorry, I'm doing this as cleanly, cleanly as possible. Mix this in, and let it do its thing. I actually added it a little too late. You should add it while it's still a little more wet. Wet eggs. I'll let this cook for about a minute with the cheese melt in there. I'm gonna add your herbs. Mix that all in there. And there we are, have a little avocado, a little habanero sauce. Honestly, this cottage cheese one was not the right one. I will pop on screen which is the right one to get. You can't have this, guys. This is my little snack, little high protein snack. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day and Wolfie's here. I have him for the week. And Storm, we just went on a hike. And La La Land is playing in the background. Of course, because I'm about to leave and I leave you guys with a movie. Every time. But yes, I'm wearing green and I'm wearing bike shorts, which means we're going to a soul cycle class. Let's hop in the car and I'll see you there. I'm still listening to the Little Mermaid soundtrack and I love Prince Eric's song now. I'm obsessed with it. Oh my gosh. We're heading to a soul cycle class. I don't normally go because I feel like it's a little rigorous for my type of activity. What I like to do, I like to hike, swim, walk. I like to work out, but Cycling is normally not my thing. I've done a few soul cycle classes before. It's just a lot and I don't like being yelled at when I work out. I want to I want it to be soothing. I want it to be I'm sensitive, you know what I mean? But I am going because Ulla Hendrickson invited me. If you guys don't know Ulla Hendrickson, they're an amazing skincare brand and the owner, Ulla Hendrickson, is going to be there and I thought it would be a great time to like introduce myself to him, say hi. I'm a really big admirer of his and you know what he's done with his company and brand and life. And I have been using the products for years. I've been using a banana bright eye cream for years and years and years, like almost 10 years. It was one of my first eye creams I remember getting. And then when I was in Montana a few years ago, they were on a brand trip to Whitefish where I have my place. And I wasn't invited because I, I didn't really know the brand at that time, but I know my friend Bretman was on that trip. So it was like, there are like a few cool parallels and he just seems like a ray of energy and light and he seems really cool so i'm excited to go do that and support it and it's the first day of pride so it's a nice way to kick off pride get some you know activity in and support the brand is this person gonna let me go thank you and then what are we doing today we're going to get a bunch of stuff framed also kalel is moving here today she just got in this morning i have a mattress that i'm giving her that was in my guest room at my last house and i'm gonna drop that off it was never used or anything. It was used like maybe like five times, I guess, but it always had a mattress protector on it. It's brand new. So I'm gonna go drop that off. And then also we are starting 30 days of planks. Okay, I'm, we'll talk more about it later, but we're doing it. We're doing 30 days of planks, 30 days of squats, and we're just being more active in the month of June. So I'm gonna challenge myself over on my TikTok daily. There'll be a planking video. I'll do a little story time. I actually was inspired by my friend Eric Sedeno over on TikTok and Instagram. He's so funny. He's also known as Rico Taquito. Cause in my head, we are friends. We're best friends in my head, but he doesn't really know me. We do follow each other on Instagram, but and TikTok. But yeah, I'm gonna go do Soul Cycle, and I'll see you guys after. Hopefully I survive. <laughs> Anybody? We hope you don't throw up, okay? Just have fun. I'm home now. I got a little strawberry matcha, so good. I dropped off the bed at Kalel's. The event was really, really good, honestly. 
Also, welcome to LA, Kalel. If you guys don't know who Kalel is, go and follow her. She has a bunch of content coming out. She just moved back to LA. She has a really cute apartment. And um, yeah, she's an icon, so go follow her. The event was so good. It was so lovely to see Ula. It was so nice to meet him. I, like, I'm such a admirer of his, like I mentioned. Dylan was there too, which was amazing. It was nice to, to just finally meet her in person. If you guys don't know Dylan Mulvaney, are you living under a rock? Her TikTok's amazing. I've been following her forever over there, but her story is wonderful. She's just like such an important voice in the community and she just is so, I don't know, there's just something like, you just fall in love with her and I feel like we've been friends in my head for a long time. So it was nice to finally, to finally meet her and just like share a moment. But yeah, I'm still getting used to going to events solo and it was, it was nice to put myself out there and just see people in the community, in the space. My friend Melissa was there, which was really nice. So that made me feel comfortable. And it was nice to just get a workout in and just be around people in the space and my peers and, and a lot of people in the queer community, so. But right now I'm gonna get some old movie posters framed. Let me show you those. They close really soon, so I gotta get a move on. But I have all these posters that I ordered off Etsy of like, oh my God, who is texting me? Like some of my favorite movies. So we have Sunset Boulevard. These are all gonna go in the living room makeover. I have Roman Holiday. I have, I love this one. Joan Crawford and Mildred Pierce, but this is the Italian poster and it's just so beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. What else do we have here? We have another Mildred Pierce. Gorgeous, that one's really pretty. And then this one, How to Marry a Millionaire. Marilyn Monroe, Betty Grable, and Lauren Bacall. Iconic, I think it'll look really good in the living room, we'll see. I swear I have the worst luck with cars. It's not that I have the worst luck, it's because there was a crazy winter in LA and I feel like at my new place, I have so much construction around me. I got a busted tire in January, a busted tire in February, and I just woke up and I have half a flat tire. So I brought it to the auto shop, they fixed the tire. Thankfully I didn't have to pay anything, but damn. It would have been expensive if I didn't get insurance when I got new tires in December. Thankfully, I got insurance. Let's go get a car wash. Getting a car wash. I love getting car washes. My car was so dirty and it really needed it. Ah! Now, because as a kid, it was, it was like the richest thing to get a car wash to me because my mom would make me wash. I mean, I love doing it. I love washing and cleaning cars. My mom always kind of taught me to keep a clean car and we would wash it either together or she would pay me like a couple bucks. But whenever we got a car wash, like an old school car wash like this, oh my God, I felt like a celebrity. I still do. I think it's fabulous. I love it. But yeah, it's been a crazy week. Ooh, look at the rainbows for pride. Wow. I'm gonna clean the inside of my car myself, probably this weekend. Car is sparkling clean. We're going to Home Goods right now because I need to find some pillows for the couch. The living room makeover is launching June 18th here on my channel, so make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you have your notifications on because it is coming June 18th, I promise. I had a brand that needed to push it and I'm working with them and I need it to go up June 18th. And June 18th, I think is Father's Day, but I don't celebrate that because my father and I are no longer in communication since honestly, like I was 17. That's another story for a different time, but yes, I'm super Super excited about that. We're gonna look for some pillows. I need specific pillows. I need really big pillows. I want like rich, luxurious pillows, but I'm not trying to pay like wild prices. So we're at Home Goods. I love Home Goods. I'm a Maxinista, TJ Max Marshall's Home Goods, Ross, everything. I love that, but I also love luxury. However, I do not want to spend hundreds of dollars for a pillow that my dogs are gonna be on. So we are going to Home Goods first. It's usually hit or miss because I feel like with TikTok, like Home Goods and all these stores have become super trendy and they're just always picked over all the time. But it's 5 p.m. on a Friday and hopefully nobody's here right now hopefully they're sitting in traffic car wash is good i need to get an oil change tomorrow what else what other manly things do i need to do i think that's it but also i just ordered postmates to meet me at marshall's with a sandwich in half an hour so i have 30 minutes to shop let's go shop i'm telling you they've lost their minds you'd think this would be like what 49.99 what it's a little it's nothing like this is the vibe i'm going for like this rug thicker material guys this pillow's tiny $49. I'm not getting these, but I just want to show you. Like, this is the world I'm going for. 
Ugh. You guys, I can't find anything here. Like, is this what I need? Maybe. Jesus. This is just, oh God, it's so bad. Honestly, this is kind of cute. For being real. Hell hath frozen over. Home goods had nothing for me. Everything was, it was awful. It was just giving like very 2009, live, laugh, love, basic home interiors. I mean, time and place for that. I do love, I do love a live, laugh, love moment, but my Postmates met me right outside of home goods. It was the richest thing I've ever, that's true luxury to me. Y'all can go to Erewhon. All the girlies can go to Erewhon, but I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna order Postmates. I'm gonna go to home goods order Postmates and be hand delivered a delicious little lunch. I got a Spindrift lemonade. Love, 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 love Spindrift. They're delectable. Oh, I got some on my dashboard. So good, a jalapeno chip. Don't get me started on a jalapeno chip. What is that brand? Oh my God, I actually had a brand deal with them ages and ages ago. What are the chips? What are the chips that I'm looking for? Kettle brand. Hello, Kettle brand. I miss working with you guys. Oh my God, I actually worked with them like four years ago for Pride. I went to Pride to take a picture eating kettle chips. I love that. If you are not from LA, Mendocino Farms, they changed their marketing, but it's still cute. Great sandwiches, great salads, divine throwback. I used to get this all the time when I lived in the area. Comes with this little like barbecue sauce. I don't even know what I was saying. I'm so hungry. I've been eating all day, but home goods was so awful. It was just nothing. I have never left a home goods with nothing. Oh, hot habanero. I thought I got jalapeno. These are still really good. A hot barbecue sauce. So I got a sandwich called the chicken not so fried. It's essentially a chicken sandwich, but instead of fried chicken, they use normal chicken. And it has little like crisps. I need you guys to see this. Look how gorgeous. It has like, if you could take the breading off of a, of a fried chicken and like crumbled it up so almost so it looks like popcorn, they sprinkle that in the sandwich. So you have the crisp, but it tastes fresh because it's normal, just roasted chicken. There's tomatoes in here. There's like a healthy vegan coleslaw. There's, I added avocado and it's on a gluten-free ciabatta. It's so yummy. I need to take a picture of it, actually. This lighting is so bad, I'll be right back, hold on. A work of art. Anyway, so I'm sitting in the parking lot of Home Goods, and I'm just gonna eat with you guys, because I'm just so disappointed. <laughs> oh my god. Don't, don't look at me, it's so good. It's Pride Month, you guys. I feel like I need to share my coming out story. I share little bits and pieces with you guys, but a lot of you guys don't know I've been on my own since I was 17. I normally say 16 because I lived with my brother for a few months of senior year of high school. I know that sounds crazy, but I actually was a freshman in high school when I was 12. Can you believe that? Because I was born in December, I was always on that cusp. You could either hold me back or put me forward. And since I went to private school for my first, for elementary school, I was kind of ahead of the curve anyways. So my mom just like put me ahead. I kind of wish she held me back because I think I was a little immature, but I was smart. But it would have been nice to be held back and be around people my own age. Everybody was always like a year older than me. Like I couldn't even drive in high school. I got my permit when I was 15 because I wanted to get my permit at the same time everybody was getting their license, just so I could have something to flash around. But high school is rough. I came out, my dad kicked me out. I lived with my eldest, my middle brother. And then I ended up going to college. So I've been on my own since, fully on my own. Like my parents didn't help me with anything. I think, I think my parents gave me like a couple hundred bucks when I graduated high school. And I never went back home after that. I've always been on my own internships, jobs throughout college, had my own apartment, was in a dorm. Then I moved to New York after college and then I uh, moved to LA and yeah. Pride is different for everybody. Sometimes like the crowds and being outwardly proud and wearing the rainbow isn't for everybody and that's okay. But it's just so crazy now that there's so many laws and people are trying to just like push queerness down and it, it's just so radical out there. I feel like this is kind of new, it's not new, 
but five years ago, it didn't feel like this. I really genuinely believe that it's because of COVID and Trump and whatever. And listen, I'm not gonna tell you to vote one way or the other, but be on the side that's right and be on the side that is full of love and positivity. And there's just so much negativity on in politics and I just don't get it. It's like half of this world is ass backwards and the other half is progressive and wants everybody to be, you know, equality. Like. Don't you want to be treated like everybody else? Don't you think everybody deserves to live a good life? We're all human. We all deserve to be happy. We all deserve to, you know, put food on the table and have successes. And it's just so crazy that, oh God, it's with social media too. It's insane. It's just so uncomfortable. There's just so much hate towards trans people, queer people, POC, you know, whatever. It's insane. I don't get it. It makes me really think about having kids one day like do I actually want to raise kids in this climate and bring them into this world so they have to struggle like who knows what the struggles are going to be like in 20 30 40 years it's kind of selfish in a way I mean having kids is beautiful and great but damn does is it worth it I don't think so not for me also that's coming from a gay man so I don't have the biological talk talk clock situation don't get me wrong I want to have a family one day I think it's beautiful but as a queer person you just like don't see an end in sight to what's going on right now. It's crazy. And I'm, I'm not claiming to be the most brilliant person, but I am vocal. I stand up for what I believe is right and equality and you know, the ch- freedom. Just the choice to govern your own body and to live freely is a beautiful thing. That's why we're lucky to live in this country. But right now it just feels like we're not. It's a mess. Anyways, the sandwich is really good. (laughs) Well, I'm gonna eat the sandwich. I hope you guys do something this weekend that makes you happy. Be a good person. Don't be an asshole. Support love and freedom and equality and whatever happens behind closed doors, that's somebody else's business. It's not yours. Focus on your own life and your own happiness. Don't be concerned about what other people are doing. Just focus on you. Life is a lot easier when you just like focus on what you're doing, you know, and live for your own happiness and stop trying to control other people. I'm not saying you guys are doing that, but you know what I mean? You got to choose happiness. I lived for a long time, like focused on other people. I forgot about myself and it's a really nice feeling to focus on you and being selfish is okay. So just know that in whatever feet, whatever place in life you're at. Anyways, I am done with my professor era. I love you guys. Make sure to leave things better than how you found them. Bye.